In the last video, we protected the cows here in the barn in Romani Ranch from being abducted by aliens. Romani gifted us with a bottle as reward, and I told you it'd be worth it. On the second day, you can enter the barn if you like and speak with the two sisters. Apparently, Creamia is making a trip to Clockdown to deliver milk. This is, of course, only possible because we saved the cows on the first night, but she doesn't know that. So she's milking the cows here on the second day, and she'll offer for you to come along if you want when she leaves at 6 p.m. on the second night. Never accept rides from strangers, unless, of course, you're in a Zelda game. Then it's okay. When you're done playing around here, then exit the barn and play the Song of Double Time to take you to the second night. So once you do make it to the second night, go and speak with Creamia pretty quickly because she doesn't stick around here very long, so speak with her to hop into the wagon before she runs off. She'll make small talk to Link, who's standing right behind her. I don't know about you guys, but that would just kind of freak me out. Like, you have somebody breathing down your neck as you're driving and they don't say anything the whole time. Awkward level is rising. Anyway, Creamia jumps along different topics. Apparently, someone's been harassing their cows and breaking their milk containers, and if you do a little exploring, you'll find out it's quite obviously the Gorman Brothers next door. So she must be in either incredibly naive and or too trusting of people. Kind of like how Link is riding along with her right now, I suppose. <laughs> So she doubts her sister's claims about the aliens, too, even though we can attest for that, and of course Link keeps silent about it. Maybe she doesn't watch enough X-Files and uh, knows the obvious, knows the sign of alien abduction. <laughs> In case you forgot, she mentions that the moon and how it's steadily growing. That's the game developer subtly reminding you that you're doomed. Nice. Lastly, she mentions that she has a friend named Anju who is in Clocktown, who's getting married soon. The situation with Anju is actually not good, and the poor woman will evacuate Clocktown along with her mother and grandmother on the final night to come here to Romani Ranch to stay with her friend. It's a very sad story, and it's actually part of a later side quest that we're not eligible for just yet. It's pretty epic, and I'm actually saving it for one of the last things we do in this walkthrough because of that. Because it's just so cool. As you leave the ranch, Milk Road is apparently blocked because someone moved the giant fences. I like how there's just a stone pillar right in the middle there. Apparently, the only option is to go through the Gorman Brothers racetrack. My, that's not suspicious at all, now is it? <laughs> Creamia will briefly explain what we need to do, but she says someone may try to steal the milk in the back of the wagon. She asks you to shoot any bandits that appear with arrows to protect the cargo. Kind of violent, don't you think? So this kind of makes me feel like we're in a western movie or something, but when she's done explaining, be sure to say yes that you understand, otherwise she'll just keep repeating herself over and over and over again, kind of like the owl. <laughs> Once the wagon enters the racetrack for reels, you'll see the pursuers behind you immediately. They steadily come at the wagon, and you'll want to shoot them with arrows to hold them back. If you fail to do this at the right times, or you're just hitting the wrong bandit, so you're not hitting the one that's currently coming at you, they'll run forward and hit the milk bottles on the back of the wagon. This will crack them. After each bottle has been hit about two or three times, it will then break, and you don't have to save all of the bottles, so if you mess up just a little bit, it's actually okay. Ironically, they only break all of the bottles if you literally do nothing. They barely manage to break them all in time before the wagon makes it to the end. So in other words, you almost have to try to fail to not get the prize. Now if you do fail, you will see the sad scene of Creamia looking quite depressed, and since they don't get any money this way, they won't be able to pay for food and such, so it's actually kind of a big deal. Not only is the world ending, but your neighbors hate you too. <laughs> she looks so sad. So, I just showed that scene so you can see what happens, in case you were burning with curiosity. With that out of the way, I'm now I'm going to rewind and show you how to complete it for reels. Press the B button to use the bow, obviously, and shoot the one who's closer. Uh, usually a little after the bandit screams and taunts you with his pitchfork. <laughs> you want to switch targets often, and that's it! Now you can button mash the B button to become like an Uzi, but I actually think that's a little less effective. You see, the goal is to shoot them when they're running forward. If they're already as far back as they can go, and you start shooting at them, all they can do is progress, because you can't push them back any further. Meaning, you won't actually push them back until they're pretty close. So instead, I recommend you wait for them to at least make a little bit of ground, and then shoot them a few times. The design of their voices and the two of the two milk bandits is quite obviously the Gorman brothers who live on this very racetrack. Creamia never actually comments on them, so I just assume she doesn't really know it's them? I don't really see how that's possible, but we already established that she's pretty trusting of people, I suppose. <laughs> 
The first time you successfully help Creamia deliver her milk to Clocktown, she'll then gift you with the Romani's mask, which you can wear to enter the Latte Milk Bar in East Clocktown. This is actually where we were delivering the milk for this side quest, too. Apparently, it's only open for members only, though I don't understand how Mr. Barton, the owner, has any business that way at all. Regardless, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, it's just milk. Like, why would you keep people out? However, Gorman goes there to drink away his problems and gets drunk, so this would imply that the milk is alcoholic? I guess. <laughs> what is Creamia feeding those cows, anyway? So this will complete her entry in the Bomber's Notebook, so congratulations. Yay! So that concludes this video. The rest of these clips is just optional cutscenes and info that I'm throwing in there for the heck of it. So just feel free to skip ahead if you like. Now if you ever return to help Creamia again, she'll then give you an orange rupee in thanks instead, which is worth 200 rupees. Now you could possibly get the other reward, which is a hug. It is apparently totally random though, but like the other prize, you can only get this after you have already won the Romani's Mask. So as I said, this event is random, so there isn't really anything that determines whether you will see this or not. It just happens occasionally when you help her after you've already won the Romani's Mask. So if Link the Stud Muffin speaks with Creamia on the third day after successfully helping both Romani and her, she'll express concern at how large the moon has grown, and vaguely mentions that some people are evacuating to her ranch. She's talking about Anju and her family, whom she talked about earlier, and I also mentioned earlier on in this video. You can see them in the upstairs bedroom on the final night, but only if you aren't completing the Anju's quest events. So also, here's another clip I noticed. I think this one only happens after you have already completed the Bomber's Notebook entries for both Romani and Creamia. So if you help Romani on the first night, you can speak with her inside Mama's house on the second night to witness this conversation. Basically, Romani wants Link to stay here and hang out with them to help protect them against stuff. Later on, you can actually come back here and help Creamia again once you have the Circus Leader's Mask, if you want. Because Gorman is related to the Gorman Brothers and he gives you that mask, they get really sad whenever you wear the Circus Leader's Mask. Because of this, you can actually wear that mask during this quest, and the bandits, who are obviously the Gorman Brothers, will not assault the wagon because they're sad. Unfortunately, you cannot actually acquire the Circus Leader's Mask until after you get the Romani's Mask, which you are rewarded with for completing this very same mission. Hmm. Something's wrong here. Nothing quite like making an incredibly easy quest easier after you've already completed it, right? <laughs> well guys, I think I've squeezed all the Romani Ranch scenes and goodness out of this and shown you everything, so without further ado, play the Song of Time and then join me for the next three videos where I'll take you to the Ikana Graveyard.